guys we're going to be doing a fun little Easter tutorial today we're going to be using something as simple as a fork so grab yourselves a fork you want to make sure that you're allowed to use the fork and you're not going to get into trouble for stealing the best fork or anything um, you will want something to put your paint on I'm going to be using um, a paper plate and you're going to want some yellow paint and some red paint or yellow paint and orange paint. I don't have any orange paint, so I'm gonna be mixing my own um, orange using a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. And then some optional things are things like googly eyes and some glue and some scissors and some colored card. And I'll go through that with you when we get there. But first, I'm going to go ahead and give my paint a bit of a shake and whack it on the plate like that. And this is really quick and really easy, but super fun. You just want to dip your fork into your paint and get it painty. And then I am just going to be going round in a circle shape, which you can draw first if it's easier for you to draw a circle then go ahead and draw a circle first. But make sure you do it really lightly in pencil so that it doesn't show through your paint. But I'm just gonna be printing with my fork and I'm just going round and round and round and then back into my paint when I need it, just like that. And I'm just gonna keep going round and round in a circle and I'm gonna build up my layers and I'm gonna be making a fuzzy Easter chick which is super fun. Now then, when you're doing painting, you can obviously use lots of different things for making marks and patterns and things. And so now you know that you can use a fork for making a stripy pattern, you can use a fork in other paintings as well. So if you think, I know this painting could really benefit from a, a stripy pattern, you can use your fork. <laughs> So there we go, I'm just now going in and filling in all the gaps like that. Smushing it all down, going over some more. So it gives it a really fuzzy look, like it's got fuzzy, fuzzy feathers. Like that. And you can leave it yellow if you um, just want it to be yellow. I'm gonna put a little bit of red on my plate, a bit too much really. And um, I'm just gonna mix a bit of an orange colour. So just add in some yellow into that into that red. Get me an orangey colour. And I'm not actually that bothered about having it really blended and mixed well because I want it to have different colours in it. So I'm just gonna go over some of some of this chick in a different colour just to give it a different a different tone like that. so yeah I'm just going back over and it looks makes it look like it's got a bit of a different depth to it then like so and let me just keep going over and over and over as I told you it's really quick really quick and easy and super fun and we've got ourselves a fuzzy fluffy Easter chick and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my googly eyes and I'm going to stick them on. I've got my glue stick. You can draw eyes on if you don't have any googly eyes. You can draw them on with pen. If you're going to be drawing them on though, you need to wait until your paint is properly dry so that you don't wreck your pens. There we go. on and you can use colored card or you can use pens or more paint just to make um, a beak so I'm going to cut out a triangle out of some card for a beak to stick on my glue stick back again pop that down like that and all of my characters always have little fuzzy cheeks and so you again you can use paint or you can cut out some colored card for some cheeks i'm just going to cut out some card because 
it's quick for me to show you guys a finished a finished thing and I've just got some card laying next to me for a different project so a couple of cheeks I'm gonna stick them on one two like that and then I'm just gonna give um some legs so I've got a black pen and I'm just going to draw a couple of lines down and a little three prongs and there we have it there's my crazy Easter fluffy chick really quick and easy and I hope you have a go at doing it make sure you check that you can use your your fork first and make sure you give it a nice wash and it'll be ready to eat your dinner off with again have fun guys, bye.